the internet and welcome to another review. Today we'll be reviewing the Turtle Beach A4 Star for 520. This will also be an unboxing. Now before we continue, I just want to say I'm here with my friends, Kratos, Nathan Drake and Batman. Batman this way, there's, there's the camera, good boy. Anyway, let's get back into this. And yes, so these are surround sound gaming headset and I absolutely love it. The sound quality is just amazing and oh, it's just incredible. This, I think the surround sound is DTS 7.1 surround sound and it's just incredible and if you're playing FIFA like I was, it sounds like you're in the stadium, it's just incredible and amazing. Anyway, we'll go into the specs later. This is the front of the box and it says PS4 Pro and PS4, even though it's compatible with PS3, it's just saying that just because, well, you know, they're the new things. The top, it says hear everything and defeat everyone. Great catchphrase. Now you turn around and it has a bit about their superhuman hearing, which is where you press the button and you can hear, as exampled, incoming airstrikes, enemy footsteps, weapon reloads, and any distant gunshots. And that is true, because I, I play Call of Duty a lot with these, and it is true what they say. The superhuman hearing is amazing. You can just hear everything is like, you know, in the distance, and you can hear every little thing. It was just incredible. Have a look at the back. It has the other features about it. So there's the DTS headphone, 7.1 surround sound. There's the dynamic chat boost, all day battery life. Revolutionary superhuman hearing, as I just said. You have a removable mic. You have sound modes and audio presets, so you can have bass boost, bass and treble boost, vocal boost, or natural sound. Then you have the high quality 5mm speakers. Also, if you have a look at the bottom, it says what it, the connections for it. So, because it's PS4 Pro, you, it has an optical cable and you put the USB in it. So you put the USB in it, and as I'll show you later, the USB has a little hole in it and you put the optical cable in that and then to the back of the, your console. So it's a compatible with PS4 Pro, PS4, with an optical. Now the PS4 Slim doesn't have an optical so some things are limited to what you can do. And then there's the PS3 and then the mobile. So yeah, these are incredible. Name just has a bit of it on different languages but you know, we're not multilingual so we can't do that. Anyway, oh yeah these are wireless hence the USB transmitter and the point of the optical thingy thingy. Anyway let's open the box. So we open it from the top and like, yeah, this is really hard because I'm doing all of this with one hand in. <laughs> Guys, you need to move out the way. Like, oh no, don't, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oof. Okay. Like Sorry about that. Okay, let's get rid of the box and have a look at this. So. This is what it looks like. Of course, I have opened this before and tried everything out. Hence the lack of sellotape on, like, you know, protecting this and stuff. It's only because I've, you know, of course, opened it before. Anyway, so you have this ribbon which is attached to the side of it. It's like the ribbon you find at the bottom of birthday cakes. And I thought it was a really nice touch to it. You know, so we need to take that ribbon off first. So, yeah. It's just fine. Whoa. Ah, the ribbon stuck to me. I can't take the ribbon off. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Anyway, so you have the headphones here. And let's take these out. Of course, these were... Actually, no, these weren't sellotape. They were just protected by the ribbon. So if we have a look, here you have the volume scrolly button thing. You have the presets, which is what I was talking about. You have the chat boost, so you can... Like, turn the volume up for when someone's talking or turn it down. If you don't like their voice, turn it down. You have the USB charging port and then the mobile device port as well. On this side, it's just plain apart from that's where your mic goes. You hold this Turtle Beach button in the middle, as you can see, to turn it on. And if you sort of look, there's quite a few fingerprints on it because, you know, when you have the headset on, it's very difficult to see where, feel where the button is. So, yeah. Um, if you hold it, it turns on. So I'm gonna turn it on now and see if you can hear the sound because there's a lady and then she tells you what button you're pressing. So I'll just hear it. Okay, I don't know if you heard that, but you know, let's just turn it off. So you hold it to turn it off. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that again. But yeah, so they, she says something. Oh, so there's a button to turn the mic on and off. Um, 
Now, here's your USB transmitter. This, of course, was solid tape as well. Of course, you know, I've tried it out. This goes, of course, into your whatever console you have. There's the hole for the optical cable to go in, and then that will go around the back of your console to the digital optical port, which out thingy majobby. Now, there's a little hole there, and basically, it says in the instruction manual, we'll have a look at that in a second, that when you put this in, this should automatically pair with the headset, and when it does, the if you see this sort of line there, that line don't, goes blue, and the side of the headphones where the Turtle Beach symbol is goes blue, and if that first that will start to flash like two times, like two beats, like one, two, then stop, then one, two, stop flashing blue, until you turn the headphones off, they sync, so they should automatically sync, and when they do sync, this will go solid blue, and this will just stay solid blue until the console's turned off or until you turn the headphones off. So they should automatically be paired. If they're not, in that little hole, you get a paper clip, open the paper clip, and then push it in, and then have the headphones on, then they should do it like that. But they should be synced already, and this is already explained in the manual. So anyway, we have the head, the mic, which is it's a nice mic, and it, yeah, it's just a mic, I guess. And this I thought was good. So under here's the accessories and stuff. So you have your guide, which is very detailed, like how to get to a PS4 and stuff. But it doesn't just say that. Oh, there we go. So for example, if you're looking at the PS4, it says what to connect it to, and then it says that you need to go on these settings and do all this on the settings and stuff. So it actually explains what you need to do on the settings, which I thought was really helpful. Here are the package contents and the headset controls and stuff. So it's all labeled clearly out for PS4, PS4 Pro, PS4 Slim, and for the PS3 for what to do for all of them. Now we have the digital optical cable, which is labeled here. Um, actually, you can't see it. Yep, there we go. There's the and this, of course, connects to your thingy thingy there, and then it connects to the back of your console. That's what transfers the sound and stuff. This is your USB charging cable, I think. Yep, that, you know, you know what to do with that. It's not really explanatory. And then this is your mobile cable, which is also quite explanatory, to be honest. Yep. And then you have this thing about warranty, and then you have a giant sticker for some reason. I don't know why you'd want that sticker. So let's just pack everything back up. Oops, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. And we can just put this back on there because they're not important. Now I need to talk about the review for the headphones. And the headphones are very, very cool. They, of course, you know, just like that. So you can turn them around. Now, when I first got them, I was quite scared they were going to break when I was turning these because, like, you know, I was really scared. But, you know, they're fine. So, okay. They have a nice head thingy, soft, leathery thing there. These are also really soft as well. And I wear glasses, so actually, it was. No, it was good. Now, you can, of course, extend the sides of these. Ah, oh, doing this one handed is quite difficult. <laughs> do I, I don't think I'm going to do it. But anyway, you can extend these. Um. To whatever so if you have a big head then you know don't worry about that you can extend them and the sound quality like I said it was amazing so if we're just talking about the normal sound quality it was because like you have the headphones on you can't hear anything else it's just it's like for FIFA you're actually there in the stadium and when you're playing Black Ops sort of like you're playing it in an actual war and it was just incredible so I played in Nuketown and I absolutely loved it and with the superhuman hearing, you can hear the distant things. I actually could hear someone reloading all the way from the other side of Newtown. And I could pinpoint when someone was shooting and stuff like that. It was incredible. And I decided to play Watch Dogs with these. I had the superhuman hearing on. I could actually hear, like, cats meowing and, like, voices and stuff like that in the distance. Like, you wouldn't normally hear because, um, without the superhuman hearing. So these headphones are incredible. I really like them. I mean, they... They are quite bulky and stuff, but you know, they're actually quite light. And when I got the box, I was like, oh my gosh, I doubt there's anything in there because the box seemed so light, but actually, it's okay. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really recommend you do get these headphones because they are really, really nice. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this. This, this is the headphones again. A4 Star 520. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. But wait! Goodbye. Headshot. Headshot.